add these names, a study of advertising and selling from the standpoint of the new principle of scientific management by Herbert Newton Cassin. Preface. This book is the first attempt, as far as I know, to apply the principles of scientific management to the problems of sales and advertising. It was begun as a series of addresses delivered to various ad clubs and chambers of commerce in the eastern states. And it is here with developed into book form at the request of several of these organizations. This fact that it was prepared largely for friends will account for the frank and personal nature of the book. The criticisms that are made here are made good humoredly and with no purpose of belittling what has already been accomplished. Certainly, I do not believe that salesmen and admin are less efficient than bankers, lawyers, doctors, professors, or any other species of professional men. But within the last few years, new methods and higher standards have been brought to light. When we remember that the total advertising in the United States amounts to $2 million a day, and that the total sales in the home market alone amount to 100 million a day, we can realize the tremendous importance of efficiency in the selling and advertising of goods. Too much of our work has fallen into ruts, into the easy ruts of habit and routine, and it is the purpose of this book to point out that there is a better way to do what we are doing. H N C, Pine Hill, N Y. A definition. Scientific management consists in correct interpretation of phenomena, in exact knowledge of laws, principles, and the influence of conditions upon results, and in skilled use of methods adapted to the almost infinitely varying circumstances of individual cases. Engineering Maxim A prophecy The industrial struggle which is about to be precipitated in America will be fought out on the basis of efficiency. Better efficiency, still better efficiency, but universally efficiency. Robert Kennedy Duncan. This is the end of Preface, read by Kriti Devedi.